What's up, y'all? It's John Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, Lulu. I know a lot of our fans have been asking us to react to the Justice League trailer that just dropped from HBO Max. And I had to hold out because, uh, you know, you've been busy the last day or so. And when it comes to trailers, I watch them with you. <laughs> usually. 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 And I'm grateful for that for waiting for me. Oh, you know, this is my only way to indoctrinate you into the world of geekdom is watching movies together. Because you are a rare beast. You're one of those gals who loves watching superhero movies. Yes, I do. Although you sometimes get mad because I can't remember. <laughs> you can't remember anything that goes That's on. That's right, you guys. I'm horrible. Well, think. do you remember watching Justice League before? Of course. Okay. Well, there's been some interesting developments in this world. Did you like the movie? Not quite. Oh, uh, see, that's rare, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's rare. I remember, uh, <laughs> she rare. almost always loves everything she sees, as long yeah. as there's action and whiz bang special effects. <laughs> she loves it. But yeah, even she thought Justice League was like me. Yes. So it was so meh. Even though it did well at the box office, they decided to go back and remake the movie. This time? Yes. Because there's a whole backstory to it. And the fans already all know about this. So I'll give the truncated version. But the original director, Zack Snyder, had a, basically had some family issues. They had to go deal with it. So another director came in. And so the movie, when they finally came out, was this mix mosh between two styles. Mm. Which is why it felt like it was kind of... Kind of weird. weird. Oh. You know, it was like no backstory for some of the characters. And it was very dark, but at the same time, it was very comical. Like, it didn't quite match. So HBO said, you know what, Zach? We're going to give you another chance. Mm. Here's $30 million. Go back and remake the movie that you wanted to make. Reshoot the scenes, do the special effects, whatever. I don't know what they did. But $30 million is not chump change. Dang. Unheard of. And it's all because... The fans revolted and says, you know what? We want to protest and say, like, we want this movie. Can you please re-release this movie with the Zack Snyder cut? Wow. And they did. Unheard of. Well, that's the power of fans. <laughs> that's the power of when people speak up. Right, and if you believe right. in something that is better for society, mm -hmm. absolutely speak up. Yes. You hear yes. all the time, people go like, there's no point to protesting. There's no point in like, speaking up because my voice will never be heard. And if you believe that, then it will never be heard. But this is a shining example of how mm -hmm. voices are heard in something that has never been done before in cinema is done for the first right. time. And HBO is that we will bet on this. Right, right. What? They believe on Zach. They believe on Zach. Yes. I actually believe on Zach too. Zach is a very, oh, how would you say? You're either going to love his stuff or hate his stuff. Uh -huh. He can be very polarizing because his movies, uh, visually stylized, amazing. I don't think anyone ever questioned that. He uh, directed the movie 300. Remember that movie? Ooh. Yeah. He also did Watchmen. Oh. He's done a lot of movies where you go like, that style is amazing. But his storytelling is very um, unconventional. And so you either have to really like the way he tells the story or you don't. Mm. I love it. To me, it breaks from so much of the trite storytelling, the tropes. And this is his chance to tell his story. Right. I don't know how much of it's going to be the same or not. So right. don't quote me on saying that it's going to be great. All I'm saying is he's been finally given a chance. Wow, that's really awesome. It is, yeah. Right. It's made a lot of fanboys very, a... very happy. <laughs> so, Zach. You better not. <laughs> you better not let us down. <laughs> All well, right. There's so... pressure, though, right? There's pressure on Oh, I think there's a ridiculous amount of pressure on him now. But he's a professional. Yeah. And he had an idea what he wanted to do already. So I don't think he's going to change his ideas around. Actually, no, I, I take that back because some things have been revealed about this that makes me go like he has already changed some of his ideas to fit uh, what he's going to do on HBO Max. First off, uh, this movie is going to be broken up to like four parts, each one an hour long. So it's a four hour movie now. A what? Yeah, it's a four hour movie and oh. he's going to tell it in four parts. I think he said that he's going to release it all at once on HBO Max, but each one is self-contained enough, and each one sort of fits into that bigger picture. So that's really cool, and I well, actually I like think it better. this could be yeah, <laughs> could be better because it allows him to tell the story he wants with so many characters. I mean, we already got the backstory now for Wonder Woman mm -hmm. and Batman and Aquaman, but we have so little information about Cyborg in mm -hmm. this movie or the Flash, and you're hoping that well. 
fill us in on you know what makes these characters interesting yeah this is unconventional too there's a lot of interesting developments that are going on here so oh. I, i'm hyping this up to a point where i get a feeling like it's going to be hard to live up to the hype but that's right don't put too much okay okay no, no more expectation and away we go now I've heard there finally the show with the main bad guy that's dark side and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really Why is he picking this song? Music, do you? It goes like this. The fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing high. That's an iconic scene. We've seen that before. Is that, is that his black suit? Is it? I can't really tell. Well, these are like all new scenes. I swear I haven't seen these before. Oh, she just did put her panties best. for him. It wasn't much. I couldn't feel. So I tried to touch. You've seen that. I've told the truth. I don't know. I didn't come no? to fool you. Why are you so sad? Like, I'm crying. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, they totally changed the. Oh, that was awesome. The Snyder Cut. This guy's probably fought hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other planets he's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's won. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united. <laughs> chills, Batman. <laughs> First time you gave me chills there, uh, <laughs> my man. Oh. Interesting music. Totally interesting music. You know, the longer you watch it, you get so emotional uh, watching what's going on. Oh my god. I know. It's a weird choice. I mean, I swear he's used this song in um, Watchmen before. In, in fact, you're going <laughs> to... I never remember it. He, when he last used this song, he must really love this song. <laughs> must be his favorite. He must go to church every Sunday. He's like, can y'all, can y'all play, please? Uh, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, thanks. Uh, all right, all right. Remember this scene from Watchmen? Oh. It was the lovemaking scene. <laughs> and Maybe there's a reason why he's using this, this music. <laughs> Maybe this was a song where he lost his virginity to. <laughs> <laughs> so it always has a bit of a, a little bit of a <laughs> feeling for him. Or maybe it's a kind of like a shout out to his fans who've been following him all these years, mm. who's going to recollect, oh yeah, I remember when he used this. Mm. And like, hallelujah, finally, the Snyder Cut's coming. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting choice of music for this wow. trailer. All right, all right, enough of watching oh, the sexy enough, bits enough. here, turning me on. <laughs> Oh, that was a weird ass thing, though, because <laughs> they're literally the world's burning now. They're making and love. And they're making love. Well, it's yeah. the end of the world, so why not? <laughs> mm, I can't argue with you that there, Lulu. Can't argue with that there. All right, so this is cool. Lots of new scenes that we haven't seen before, which to me makes sense, right? It's a Snyder cut, so why show the existing scenes? You don't need to retell the story. You just need to show, you know, what he's doing that's different here. And now it's making me curious how much of this movie is totally brand new uh how long was the original justice league movie here it was a long movie i remember feeling like god when will this end type of feeling to it so the theatrical cut was 120 
minutes long, two hours. So that's basically saying that Zach is adding two, two more hours. hours. It's basically he's making another movie. Right. right. I do wish actually they released this in a theater. I think if they did, they would make a crap load of money. Well, I guess theaters are kind of dead right now, so maybe that's kind of a, a lost yeah, cause. Give but us some, give us some hope here, right? <laughs> this will bring people back. This will bring the fanboys right, back, right. even if they're going to catch Corona. That was emotional. Really it well is done. Very emotional. Yeah, music plays such a fundamental role in these trailers. Like mm -hmm. if you pick the right one, it totally makes or breaks. Like when we were watching that Suicide Squad gameplay trailer, yes. and then halfway through they break out an Outcast song. Suddenly it's like, oh my god, this is awesome. Like the music can make or break yes. the trailer. Yes, absolutely. It has a big impact. All right. Good job so far, Zach. Loving it.